My son and I headed into the Arizona desert on a hunt for rattlesnakes, armed with nothing but a few YouTubers, a couple of local guys, and a camera. This is the story of so, what happened. You're gonna be able to walk? You have your pocket knife? Yeah, what am I gonna do with the pocket knife? Cut my tongue. Hello! Ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? We are bringing you out here to the Arizona desert and hopefully going to find some Gila monsters and rattlesnakes today. And here's the thing, hear me out here. We've got Clint, we've got Dave, we've got Garrett, we've got locals Lee Varner and Ryan Lee out here. Nobody has found squat. But I promise that if we don't find anything, which is possible at this rate, I'm not even gonna upload this video. Can no, I get a large no, coffee with three creams and three sugars and a few ice cubes just to cool it down a bit and... Don't judge me. I'm gonna do a sausage McMuffin with egg. <laughs> just in case you were wondering, this is how every Herp trip starts with Dave Kaufman. <laughs> oh, I left my wallet. Too tired to comment. Dave was sleeping, <clears throat> we were waking. We had to wait for Dave to brush his hair. <laughs> Ain't no one got time for that. It is still dark out. Okay, okay, seriously though, the goal, the goal here is we're hoping to find rattlesnakes. I don't know why I'm talking to camera, you can't no, even not. see me. No? That's not the biggest goal. That's not you know, the biggest thing. You don't goal. get up at this time for rattlesnakes? No. It's Arizona, well, you find rattlesnakes. I wasn't done yet. I wasn't I'll done yet. your eyes glow in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> it's totally Ooh. dark. Oh, yeah, keeping them loose. Dark, oh, car. Got away, got away, car. Car. It is beautiful. All right. Let's see if we can't find something, guys. Well, if we don't find anything, like I always say when we're out herping, it sure is beautiful out here. So if we find nothing, it's just great to be here. Ah, oh, well, look who it is. I'm trying to walk by the bushes to see if I can get their, their rattles to start shaking. Yeah, you just be careful out there, okay? Okay. Just in case, I got a big cactus and a tiny hook. Be careful up there, Noah. Well, so far the only thing I found is this dead cow right here. Kind of gross, but very natural. If you consider domestic cattle natural. No what? I think I way up there, I asked him to stay close. Here he comes. I gotta keep him close. I don't want his mommy to get mad if I lose him. That wouldn't be any good for any of us, trust me. You putting that jacket back on? Uh -huh, where are all oh, are you crazy? It won't stay tight on me. I, I honestly don't know why you brought this thing to the desert. <laughs> it's a snow jacket. Rattlesnake, Gila monster, go. Painful! Noah stepped on a cactus. Went right through his shoe. I told you to watch where you're going, bud. <laughs> Not cheap. Yeah, you got a little bit of the cactus venom, probably. Cactuses are venomous? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just making it up. Here, let's put your sock back on. Big You're gonna be able to walk? You have your pocket knife? Yeah, what am I gonna do with the pocket knife? 
cut my toe off. Cut your toe off? <laughs> You're not always saying that, so that will solve it. <laughs> I don't want my shoe on. Well, you, you need to put your shoe back on to walk. It'll be painful. No, it'll be fine. It'll be better. It'll be better than that. There's, uh, there's still cactus prickles in my shoe. No, they're not. I pulled them all out. There's some on the inside that. Okay, you well, can't get remember to. what I said. Watch where you're going. And you won't have this issue, <laughs> doof tip. Ow! All right, I say we walk it off. Oh, I think I see Dave. Watch where you're going. All right, I think we need more Dave in this video. What do you think? I think I feel like Dave will bring us the things we're looking for. You think, Noah? Sitting here for 15 minutes trying to get a time lapse of the sun coming up behind a cactus. The sun is just staying put. <laughs> well, the sun is supposed to revolve around us. Uh, right? You see any helas yet? No helas yet. You seen any helas yet? Uh, I've seen three, but I didn't tell you guys about them because. <laughs> <laughs> All we found so far was a cactus with Noah's toe. Oh. Yeah. Well, we decided that we we need a uh, more Dave in our video because we're either gonna get Gila monsters or we're gonna get Dave. We got to take our pick at this point, I think. Dude, I'd get Gila monsters. Uh, seriously. Well, this is called an Acatillo, and this time of year they're in bloom. This is the best time of year to be in the desert. This is the oldest living thing on the planet. This species of tree right here, or bush, as it were. I don't know how you kind of felt about bush. I like bush. I like bush a lot, actually. So when you're on a herping trip and you can't find any herps, then plants become the subject of herping. We're herping for plants now. Look at all these plants in the desert. Who would have thought? There, another cactus over there. Uh, this bush here. <laughs> That's the oldest living thing on the planet. The uh, oldest bush, oldest bush on the planet. The tall, sticky ones are a saguaro. Well, those are acatillos right there. In case you were wondering. No? Okay. Leave Arners, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here's what I'm thinking. I know you guys want to hear what I'm thinking. I don't understand why the Gila monsters are hiding. You know, if I was a Gila monster, and I like to think that sometimes I am, I would be looking for some belly scritches. And it seems to me, if I wanted belly scritches, I would be out with my belly up looking for some scritches. Not hiding under whatever rock or bush or crevice with my back turned to the possibility of belly scritches. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? So nice. I just dropped my hook. What's going on, Dave? I got pooping. You got something? I got pooping. What you got, Dave? All right, so I found the gang here, but we don't know where Clint is. He's over there! But I'm glad because this is one of the coolest colubrids in the desert! Ooh. This is snake. Oh, my can't, my, my, you know, my thing's dying. You gotta hold them, you gotta hold them kind of, it's, it's weird, you gotta hold them gently, but, but firm. Loose. But not Hold down loose, he will go. He'll envenomate you. But don't let it go. This is not a venomous snake. We got paper. I like it. It's gonna stick. We got paper in the car. Yeah, snake. it's gonna stick. Good job, Noah. So. Look at how chilly he is actually now. It's super chill. Let's take a picture of him with my high tech camera. Snake! Where'd you find that guy, Dave? He was just sitting out sunning himself. I walked over and I said, how do you do? 
Look at he's still out sunning himself. Yeah. So, so this is the taco nose snake. The taco nose snake, yep, yep. Noah's gonna write a paper over there. Yeah. That will be, that one snake will be named Taco Nose the first. Taco Nose over the first. Over here! I never thought I'd ask you this. Mm -hmm. Can I hold your snake? You've asked me that, and the answer is always yes. <laughs> <laughs> How freaking cool, man. Gently, gently. Oh, just I got him. He's cool. He's chilling. Yep. Just, there you go. Are you trying to tell me how to hold a snake right now? Is that what's happening? <laughs> you never held a taco And we'll just wait for Clint to get here. <laughs> <laughs> I've never found these during the day. Tell me more about them. So it's a lizard eater. Uh, it's striped. It's got a patch nose. And it's a fan of Clint's reptiles. Is that so? I believe so. Man. He asked if you were here. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. God, it's Dave Kaufman! <laughs> Are you doing Clint, would you like to hold Dave's snake too? <laughs> like crazy. I've been waiting for this hey, day. Hey, everyone! There's a new name for this snake. Yeah, okay, yeah. We have to we have to mention it once again that Noah has renamed this snake into not from Patch Nose anymore. It is now The Taco Nose Snake. The Taco, taco Nose, nose snake. snake. I can see that. I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's glorious. Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> Don't stick your butt in the cactus. If you get low enough, you can be in the shade. If you get low enough, you can be Dave Kaufman. <laughs> I never go that low. <laughs> this video is so rich with content. <laughs> we had found our first snake of the day, but there was still a lot of ground to cover before we were going to find a rattlesnake. Tiger rattler before? Nope. They're my favorites. They're, I read about them in my book and they're cool. They're super cool, aren't they? All right. It's interesting. Got, it's got a, the head reminds me of Candoya a little bit. <laughs> a little tiny bit. Yeah, they're actually uh, they're related to the Mojave Greens. And like uh, Sidewinders a little bit. They got that head structure of Sidewinders. She's calm, don't worry. Yeah, you got her nice and calm. She's a good girl. Those scales do not have much of a keel to them. I'm going to go check out our keel. They're really heavy on top. Be careful, hon, since it fell in. Well, this is one of the harder ones to knock out in Arizona, so that's good. Well, don't go in it if the front... Let me know if you want me to hook her. No, you're fine. Ryan, I don't know if you want him going back out of the cave. They said that the cave they were crawling through collapsed. She's like, this is a new experience for me too. Yeah, oh, there's a uh, lot of people feel about around this now. right now. <laughs> I think she's okay with it. These are my lifers. Right, I am. Yeah, do you see the size of that one? That has to be a female. That's right. Look at that hair. Yep. That is fantastic. I palpated it too. She's so calm with this now. She's like, whatever these are, they don't seem to be here to kill me. Except for this big one. Yeah, he's trying really hard to step on me. Yeah, he's slow, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured she would go into a defense coil and stay there. What are you guys talking about? I thought we decided this was a female snake. No, it's that, it's that left. Oh, I always they, go he... Yeah. They claim... No, they claim I, I start off... They want to be gender neutral just so they can say whatever they want. Absolutely. Right? Every video I start off, I'm like, look at this beautiful girl. He is beautiful. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you, you don't think so, Noah? So check it out, guys. Only one Dave Kaufman. So check it out, guys. This is a tiger rattlesnake. Now, Arizona is home to the most species of rattlesnake anywhere in the world. But this one is a tiger rattlesnake. This is my first time putting hands on a tiger rattlesnake. And we're gonna film that over. I'll edit that out. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Imitatable. <laughs> I don't see any sunglasses on your head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, was, I was just kidding. I, I just wanted to touch it and then make fun of Dave. Yep. <laughs> no, that's, that's not the first thing you've touched and made fun of me of. <laughs> <laughs> that could be taken. <laughs> that could be taken in such... Mm. What are you throwing at me? I think there's only one way that can be taken. <laughs> I only took it one way. Yeah. Oh, that's also bad. Yeah, I'm, 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 you everybody, everybody I'm trying to come up with some more ways. Well, don't worry, both snakes don't bite. <laughs> Clint, this one will tag at you. Thank you for making this a three gold star day. This has been a good day, hasn't it? It has. This is the grumpiest of the three. But he's all talk, and only some bite. Did he give you any bites yet? Uh, at. At. Just not on. Yeah. I was going to be really confused until you finished that sentence. Until I caught my first alligator. I'm like, where were you? At the bottom of the cactus. At the bottom of the cactus. Yeah. It was only 50 feet from the tiger on the Oh, really? Yeah, he's going up. Even if they wanted to. I made a whole thing. You know, it turned towards me. It turned towards me, bud. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, we'll get you, bit. What you think, bud? It happen until the camera. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I'm finding all kinds of snakes. First, a tiger rattlesnake. Liam, do you want to hold it? These in the San Diego's are the ones. No, first, a taco nose snake. Taco nose snake. But these things are beautiful. They're probably the prettiest gopher snake north of the border. I like, oh, I like the blacks. Alright folks, I think I'm going to end the video right here, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching and uh, how much, great it is to be out here with all these folks. Clint's beautiful family, Dave and Garrett, Ryan and Lee, and of course my little boy Noah Sage. Just a freaking fantastic day. This is why I started the channel in the first place, was to re reach out and find people that we could do fun things with. And uh, well, it sure is happening. I hope you guys are having a great time. Aloha. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thanks. Dave, what? What? What happened? What? what happened, Dave? This bright red I'm bug bit lounging. That bug bit you? That's why he's down. He's going crazy. We're going to have to put him down. Yes, I am paralyzed from the nose down. <laughs> Your legs Actually, are correction. I am paralyzed from the nose up. It looks like you're white from the thigh up. <laughs> That's piebaldism. <laughs> now, as we come to an end of our story, I want to give two very special shout outs. First, to my boy Noah Sage for hanging the whole 20 hours in the desert, despite there being a very comfortable Airbnb with a nice pool waiting for us back home. And secondly, to Ryan Lee for taking us out to all these amazing spots, the last one of which that we found this beauty right here. Yeah, so what Garrett was just talking about, if you look on that. If you look on his face there, there's those lines behind the eye and in front of the eye. The two white lines yep. bordering that dark big stripe that goes straight down. Underneath the venom sac and around it. Garrett, which do you think would win in a battle? A diamondback or a tiger? Like rattlesnakes? Like a tiger, tiger rattlesnake? Yeah. All right, who could win in a, a battle? Tiger? I say hybridizer. Hybridize them. <laughs> Is that a good they enough answer? Not war. <laughs> they both win. <laughs> oh man, so good to see him after all the work that we put in today. So that's what, five snakes in a drought. Five snakes. That's not bad at all. Five snakes in a drought is huge. So anyway, guys, everybody's links are in the description below as usual. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your up. Oh, you're so close. <laughs>
You're so close. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching as always. Check out our sponsors' links in the description below. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on. Cool. I think I got it. That was huge. What? Two rattlesnakes in one day, buddy. Yeah. It's awesome. Can I hop in where you are just for a moment? But I guess they split that now. So, you, like, Heller Eyes is its own, or Aganis is its own. Mm -hmm. So, we're just going to give them a little drink of water here. Yeah. <laughs>